Will nuclear power rescue the climate change fanatics? Hello and welcome to today's Daily Blitz. In this video, I'd like to talk about the comeback of nuclear power and why nuclear power might be what gets us to emissions neutral as the climate change fanatics demand. A few weeks ago, the National Bureau of Economic Research released a working paper which estimated the social cost of Germany's nuclear power phase out. They estimated that it cost Germany 12 billion US dollars per year to lose its nuclear capacity. And 70% of that loss came in the form of increased mortality from higher rates of air pollution. That air pollution happened because coal and gas largely replaced the nuclear capacity. What this research really shows us is that we should have been going with nuclear power all along. And if we had used nuclear power, we'd be a long way towards our emissions targets. That's why before the Fukushima accident, a lot of governments all around the world were focusing on nuclear energy. But because Fukushima happened, they abandoned all of those plans, thereby giving up on the best chance we had of going emissions neutral. The effect this had on uranium miners and the uranium market was extreme. The value of uranium miners has fallen 92% since it peaked in 2007, and the uranium price is down about 80%, with 90% of uranium miners going bust or out of business. All of this despite the fact that the UN estimates that nobody died of direct radiation poisoning from Fukushima. And the same in Three Mile Island, the American nuclear disaster. In fact, it's not just that nuclear power produces no emissions, it's also that it's incredibly safe. And that's why I'm expecting it to make a big comeback this decade as we get serious about emissions and climate change. And if I'm right, this suggests that there's a huge opportunity for investors in the uranium sector and in the nuclear power sector. And that concludes today's Daily Blitz. Thanks for watching.